A battle to preserve Chicano culture in the Logan Heights community continues today. Construction on a local school means the destruction of historic murals. ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pazetti spoke with artists who say they haven't been given a chance to preserve their work. It's been an ongoing fight here at Memorial Prep. We were here and cameras were rolling last week when the first mural went down. Now artists say there are more murals on campus that are set to be destroyed and they want them saved. As construction continues at Memorial Prep, a list of demands is spread outside. We demand an end to the destruction of historical communities. Holding photos of their murals, Chicano artists shared their frustration with the San Diego Unified School District's plan to destroy this art. They want to abolish our culture. It comes down to that. And we're not, we're, we're used to, we, we, we've been used to it, but we're not going to take it anymore. Last week, the first mural went down. The district said the art could not be saved due to asbestos, adding that they would display photos of the mural and add new murals, but these artists say that is not enough. Make no mistake, we're not against the project, we're not against the progress of education right here in Logan Heights, because that's what they're making it seem like. What we want to do and what was asked of them back five years ago was that, number one, be transparent, and number two, help us preserve the culture, the history, of the community and the school. Now the advocates say there are two more murals attached to the gym that are set to be destroyed. To their knowledge, asbestos is not a problem here, but they're on the side of the elevator shaft that is set to come down. The artists have told the school they will cover costs and labor to move the art. They're just asking for the chance. We have the resources, we have the will, and we have the passion uh, to go forward with the removal. So it's not that it can't be done, it's that we're not being allowed our rights to remove these murals. Hoping the school hears their plea to preserve their culture. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. We did speak with the district last week and they told us that they ultimately did not want to take the murals down, but they had to for safety reasons due to asbestos. And then we tried contacting them today to ask about these other murals. We've not yet heard back.